there's always that that strong support you know which we see in media industry now i realize i'm a lot older than i see younger people in the media industry i i can't help it but like say hey, you know i i know exactly how you're feeling i know i know this is is demanding but i think you you can do this my name is azha abdul salam ini kasih kita We were not well off, but we were blessed with having enough. When I was I was young, you know, we we always had uh, uniforms, new uniforms, uh, new books. But I knew that when I wanted to pursue uh, a tertiary education in an area that was not uh, offered in Singapore at that time, uh, I knew it was going to be challenging. I decided to put in more effort during university because. I was the only Asian or the you know definitely the only Singaporean or the only Asian in in the class uh, or in the department so I I didn't see uh, any other Asians or, or very rare you know so that that really pushed me to do well and the fact that I had to really work hard to be there you know to to raise my own money and uh, take loans and uh, get all the financial aid that I I got. The University of Arizona was probably my top two schools that I wanted to go to because of uh, the uh, Department of Journalism. I was focusing a lot on myself uh, to do well, right? And uh, the journalism, the reporting classes, but I, I always wanted to do well, uh, but I think it was natural because I uh, I like news and I like journalism and because I didn't have enough money I knew that I had to squeeze the four years of college education into three years I didn't have money to to balik Singapore anyway right so I stayed on to, to take summer classes I'm very thankful with uh, the opportunity that was given to me you know because uh, my training was in journalism in in hard copywriting and to make that transition into broadcasting was actually uh, not that easy. The writing is different um, and I was not trained in filming nor in editing. But the friends I made when I was producing shows like Inside Asia, Talking Point, uh, I, had, I made very good friends, uh, still very good friends till today. And the crew that I worked with were lifelong relationships and I uh, was very open to the experience, which I still share with my students. Uh, I said, uh, when I was appointed producer, this was tail end of SBC. This was August 1994. And producing a show that was already on air, and, and I'm sure I had skeptics in the team, you know, what this guy can do. But I, I worked very hard. I, uh, in not only doing the stories that, you know, and researching the stories and uh, giving my my perspective of things, uh, but when I moved uh, to ESPN, it was uh, working with Aussies and uh, Americans and Brits and and South Africans who who really wonder what you are capable of. A lot of us are very close friends. Despite the challenges, we always push each other on. Uh, my friends from from. SBC and TCS and ESPN, World Sport Group are still friends today. Uh, there's always that, that strong support, you know, uh, which we see in media industry, you know. Now I realize I'm a lot older than I see younger people in the media industry. I, I can't help it but like say, hey, you know, I, I know exactly how you're feeling. I know, I know this is, is demanding. Uh, uh, but I think you, you can do this. Uh, I got married at the tail end of my ESPN stint before I joined World Sport Group. So at World Sport Group, there was a lot more traveling, you know, so it was uh, because we were producing a lot more content, not, not so much live studio directing. Uh, so it would be planning pre-production two weeks maybe, and then I would go to Japan and shoot, 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 shoot and then come back, edit, 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 and planning to go to Beirut. So it was that kind of rigorous uh, schedule that I was in. And 
uh, it was hard to start a family. <laughs> Later, I found out that there was an opening at Nanyang Poly, and uh, for they were starting a new diploma, and I thought, you know, why not, right? And I decided to apply, and uh, I got the job. Luck, bless the knowledge, magnanimous. There's luck somehow in there. The bee is blessed. Blessings from uh, parents, from uh, friends, from Allah, uh, from my family, from my wife. With all the knowledge, right? I cannot do it on my own. M would be for magnanimous. How LBKM has done this over the years, you know, to to help. Uh, people like me and help many others. I want to take this opportunity to uh, ask fellow members of the community to help LBKM out with providing the financial assistance to our younger generation so that they can uh, pursue their goals for a better future. I want to thank the donors who have already given generously over the years and may Allah make you uh, even more uh, open to giving more to LBKM and uh, contributing to uh, the society.